Hi, Emmanuel. My name's Maria, and I'm going to be reading from Colossians 1, verses 17 and 18. And these verses are part of a piece of scripture called the preeminence of Christ. So we're going to be finding out more about what this means, that Christ is preeminent, that he is um, supreme, and above all, that he's our king. It says this about Jesus. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. And yesterday, just for a bit of context, Tim was talking to us about Jesus being um, the creator, that all things were created through him and for him. And here we see, we see that Jesus sustains all things, that in him all things hold together. He creates all things and he sustains all things. Right from the beginning of history, throughout all of time, right till this very second, Jesus is upholding all things. And it's not hard for him, it's, it's part of his divine nature. It's, it's easy, it's who he is, he is Christ, and he upholds all things by the word of his power. There's not one square inch of, of the universe that he is not upholding right now. And that goes for me and you as well, he is upholding us right now. And it also says this, that he goes before all things. He goes before all things. And again, we see this demonstrated time and time again throughout the Bible, throughout history, God going before his people. God, um, he led Moses and the Israelites. Um, in stories where we they think we look, they look really dire um, and awful, like the story of Joseph, actually, God was there leading the way. Um, in ridiculous stories, like like the life of Noah, it looked, his life looked ridiculous to, to those around him, but actually God was leading the way. And in the New Testament, Jesus demonstrates, like his life is demonstrating, kind of going before, he goes before his disciples, he leads his disciples and he models his life, um, going before them to, to show them how to live. And this is for us too. And ultimately what we, what we see here as well, that there's the, there's the beauty and the, the glory of the gospel in the middle of these verses. It says this, he is the firstborn from the dead. He died and was resurrected as ultimately going before us once again. I go before you that you might live, that you might live and have an abundant life with, with the Father. Again, he goes before us. And this is for us as individuals, as Christians, but this is also for us as a body of believers, as the church. It says that he is the head of the body, the church. So Jesus upholds us and he goes before us as individuals and he upholds his church and he leads his church. And he's always done that and he's always gonna continue doing that. I would love to, to pray this for us that we'd know this richly um, in our hearts. Lord, I thank you that you go before all things, that in all things, that you hold all things together. Lord, I pray for people wherever, um, whatever situation they will be in right now, um, changes to family life, um, education, uh, money, job situation, finances, health. Lord, I pray people will really know and rest, um, rest in this truth that you uphold us and that you go before us, that you hem us in before and behind and your hand is upon us, guiding us and upholding us. Amen.